I think the theater is the grandest place in the world, and I plan to go right to the top. Uh-huh. Where do you think I was planning to go? Welcome to Inside New York. It is opening night for an extraordinary play that has been on its journey to Broadway since 1955. And we have an amazing cast. The trouble is feeling is in old Petunia's breath. Wait, old Petunia? Yes, this is old Petunia. Tony Award winner LaShawns is a tour de force in Alice Childress' new play on Broadway, Trouble in Mind. It deals with racism and stereotypes, and she smashes them all in this masterpiece. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And we're going to be talking with the amazing LaShawns Chuck Cooper, who also is a triumphant performance, and even the director, Charles Randolph. They are to all to be congratulated. So you better stay right there, because it's all right here on Inside New York. Only for Chuck Cooper would I come out here. Oh my goodness. You know, after 25 years oh my to be on the red carpet. <laughs> uh, we finally caught up with Chuck and he is back on Broadway. How does it feel to it's be wonderful. back on Broadway? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It, it's always wonderful to be on Broadway, but it's also exceedingly wonderful to be on Broadway in an exquisite play, which this is. Yes. And so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm like, I really. I'm probably floating, I'm so great. And why do you think that this play is so relevant, which as we opened with earlier, was first presented in 1955? Well, it's so relevant now because we're in this woke moment of George Floyd, of, I mean, look at the, the two uh, court trials that are going on now. Uh, it's these three guys who just mowed a guy down for jogging. I mean, you know. Yes. Uh, the, Modern day lynching. Yes, exactly. We talk about lynching in the show, we talk about voting rights, we talk about everything that we're talking about today. When you did your monologue, and I won't give away what the subject matter is, I'm just going to say that you revealed a painful moment in your past then you just change the whole temperament. Yeah. And you really control that stage and the audience. You could hear a pin drop mm -hmm. when Chuck does his monologues. I have to commend you. It was so extraordinary. It's worth seeing just for his monologue, but there's many more reasons. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Y'all need to come and see our show. That's all y'all need to know. If you don't mind, we'd like to use the phone. Oh, I'm holding class today. All right, and we have Charles Randolph, who is the director of Trouble in Mind, and I haven't seen him since Motown. That's true. So, that's, that's true. right, we're yes. right here. Okay, so what is it like to be back on Broadway? Although it you've is, done a few things I've done since a few then. things, I've done a few things. I've mainly yeah. been in television, actually, yeah. so. But 
to do this play, I've been obsessed with this play for four decades. Wow. And uh, I've been trying to get it on Broadway for 15 years. Really? So tonight was a culmination of that because I wanted Alice Childress finally acknowledged, finally seen, finally recognized. There's so many of our ancestors that we don't get to acknowledge. And to be able to do this tonight, to bring her to the forefront, to have people who've never heard of her realize, look at who she is. And there's so many more. And, and that celebration is everything to me. What grabbed you? I mean, there are so many, as you said, that we can really, you know, idolize and want to bring forward. The, her bravery of in 1957 saying no when they wanted her to go to Broadway but demanded that she change her writing, which is changing who she is, it inspired me not to change who I am and what I do and how I do it. And so I've been on a mission, and so tonight I can breathe a little. Oh, you certainly should because it is magnificent. <laughs> yes, and this story, and to have Lashans and this extraordinary company, the crew, the design team, the passion for this work was amazing. That they, they understood it. Most people had not heard of her, and they were just astounded by who she is. And who she is, I say, because she's with us as opposed to who she was. And I feel her through this, and I completely feel her through LaShawn's especially. Absolutely. I told her I think she's going to get another Tony. It, she you deserves know, the it, Tony. It definitely I, does. And it you needs should to too. Thank you. You're directing it. But I want Alice, I want Alice to have her day. her day, and she is. She is. And lastly, for those who want to bring something to Broadway, who may feel like, oh, I can't do it. What is your advice? You have to dream. You have to follow your dream, and you can't give up. And it will be difficult, but to know that through that difficulty, you just keep fighting, and you find your team, the people that you love, in my case, my muse, Lashans, and this team, you find them, and they will give you the fortitude. They will give you the ground upon which you stand. Well, you could have been in better hands Thank and have you. a better team. Thank you. I congratulate you and you inspire me. Thank you, you inspire so all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing Great. her work yes. to, to Broadway and yes. to life. Thank you. Thank you again. <laughs>